Welcome to the Abingdon Freewheeling Festival. As you can see, the Market Square is full. This morning we've had our fourth uh, annual Spring Rides Festival, taking people from the Abingdon community out on lead rides uh, from very small children just around the town to uh, 10 mile lead rides, 27 miles. We've had other clubs involved with doing 40 mile rides and we've had a 60 mile Ordex uh, this morning. Well, we've been organising this event uh, to get people into cycling, people that haven't got their bike out for a few years or are new to cycling. Um, so it's really to encourage people to, to get out on their bikes in a safe environment. It's not all about men in Lycra, it's about everybody. Meeting new people, making new cycle buddies and uh, starting to make cycling uh, part of their everyday life. It's good for us, people can easily cycle uh, into work if they live in Abingdon and, uh, and we're here trying to support that uh, and make cycling fun for everybody. Freewheeling was set up some four years ago, not to be like a racing club but to be a fun social cycling club for people of all ages and uh, all abilities. And many people start off just doing five or ten miles and then uh, some months later we find they're doing 20 mile rides, 50 mile rides. Right. Simple club, simple cycling, plenty of fun. The mountain biking group has become very, very popular with the locals. It has become a very large group as well. We go out regularly on Tuesdays with a range of rides from very, very easy to very, very hard. It started up a lot of social circles. The mountain bike fraternity is very, very strong in this town. We run ladies' rides and, you know, it's, it's my aim to, to really get more women out on bikes, run more rides. just set off the, uh, the 80k Ordax from the Abingdon uh, Freewheeling Cycling Festival. Uh, an Ordax is, uh, is unlike a sporty in that it doesn't have signposts, it doesn't have marshals on the course and, uh, and basically we give each of our riders a route card. It's a long distance cycling ride, a casual pace. We've had people doing massage for those that have come back from the ride and that's from our local college training students and students have been getting uh, good practical experience with sports massage today. We've had the fire brigade here showing off their fire engine, obviously good community promotions, also great for the kids. Uh, Astra provided us with a uh, articulated truck cab this morning so people can actually sit up in the driving position of, a, of an articulated truck and they can see how much that they can't see. So cyclists don't realise that when a truck is behind them, the driver can't actually see them right down in front of them and he can't always see along the side of the vehicle. We've had several different local clubs represented here from Didcot, we've had Zappies Club in from Oxford, we've had uh, Outdoor Traders Club from uh, over the road here in Abingdon. We've also had uh, Cyclox in Oxford doing uh, bike maintenance and helping people in, in that way. We've had three or four different bike shops, so we've had Outdoor Traders, we've had Behind Bars who have been huge supporters for us over the years and uh, we've had Pedal Power also uh, represented with bikes supported by, uh, by the rally company there, uh, the big supplier. So there's been a lot of stuff going on. We've had great food from, uh, from our friends over at King's Head and Bell. And in particular, we've had uh, great live bands this afternoon. We've had jazz, we've had rock, we've had a youth band on this afternoon. So all good stuff really coming straight out of the community. Hi, my name's Tim. I'm representing Broken Spoke Oxford. We're an open workshop cooperative where you're very welcome to come along and repair your own bike for a very modest fee. We can supply you with the time, the tools and the expertise to keep your bike on the road and keep you enjoying your cycling. Right on. It's been a really good day. Lots of people have turned up. People seem to have had a really good time. And I was just speaking to um, a lady and uh, she usually just cycles in the gym. And this is the first time she's been out with a group on a road ride and she absolutely loved every second of it. So that to me means that we've done our job. Cycling in Abingdon has a very important uh, future. People have had a good time. We've had a great time doing it. And now it's time for beer. Next year, come and join us and have another good time. Cheers, take care.